What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and I really wanted to show off this deck that you guys are going to be seeing today and that's Dino. It's Go Second Dino. It's pure Dino as well, which I haven't done on the channel before because mostly since the scrap stuff has come out, like scrap has just been so good. But I think this build is really cool. Um, but before we get into the profile, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh content just like this one. Um, we're almost at 10,000 subscribers and I know we can make it happen soon. Another thing I do want to say lastly is uh, we're all expecting a ban list, let's be honest. And I feel, maybe this is just cope, but I feel like if we were to get Misk back to three, this would be the ban list for it to happen. Uh, but I'm going to be showing you guys the deck profile with Misk still at one. And we just got to, in the comment section, just put Prage because uh, we want... Um, uh, this back to three. Anyways, uh, let's get right into the profile here. Uh, we're of course starting off with three Ovi Raptor and one Misk. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is standard, like you're never going to change that. Your best normal summon of the deck. And then one Misk for now, because we're going to get back to three, hopefully. Uh, we get three Baby Cerasaurus and one Petite Pteranodon. I still think you need to max out on these, like, uh, or max out on the baby at least in this deck, because you really want to be able to OTK, and this kind of helps you extend to put more bodies on the board so that you can OTK and push. Uh, Further, So yeah, this is a going second list, but it's also an OTK list. It's not just a going second list. It's, you really want to be able to OTK as well. That's why we're playing these. Uh, two Arcsaur, of course, to get to your pill. We're playing two Conductor, of course, uh, so that you can... Th this is your big body that will help you OTK. But the really nice thing about this deck is that there are times where... Like you can have one, you don't have to actually have both of these on the board. It's very easy to get both of these on the board, but even if you only have one, you can still push for a lot of damage, which is nice. Cause as soon as you're able to get into any rank four, you get Dugaris and all that stuff, which is nice. And then lastly, we're playing one Pangatops, of course, for going second, one Giant Rex as an extender for you in this deck, as well as one Dogaran. Kaijus in general are really good in today's format and being able to search uh, or main deck a searchable Kaiju is really, really powerful. So that's it for the monsters. Literally only Dino monsters here, or at least monsters that you guys are gonna be using. We have hand traps and stuff. Stuff that you guys are gonna see later but we're not playing any of the scrap engine we're not doing any of that this is pure dino and uh it's really just built to break boards on otk so uh that's it for the dino stuff but just before we continue on here i do want to say a huge shout out to smart cards uh, if you guys want to check out their website there will be a link in the description below uh you guys can get a discount code for these field centers they're actually metal field centers so you guys can uh they're really good quality and on top of that they actually have an nfc chip in the back you can connect this to anything like if you have your own website your own youtube channel your own whatever you guys want instagram whatever all you got to do is tap this with your phone and it'll show up on your whoever's tapping it essentially right so it's really cool smart field centers and you can use my code for 10 percent off um but yeah i just i just wanted to show that off and, and there's a lot of designs it's not just the blue eye shining they have a ton of different designs so um well, let's get back into the profile now. So we are playing, of course, three Fossil Dig. I know this is a hand trap format, and I know Droll and Lockbird is very prevalent, but you still need to be playing three Fossil Dig because, um, you know, it's really just important to get to Misk, and this deck is a lot of two-card starters. So whether you open OV Baby, OV Misk, Misk Baby, Arco Baby, like they're two-card combos, and uh, this is essentially a replacement for any second card, right? So if you open Misk plus Fossil Dig, it replaces any other second card that would help you combo, right? So three Fossil Dig, of course, you still got to play it. Uh, two double evolution pill of course this card is really powerful gets to your conductor tyranno i think it also gets to your pancreatops if you needed to which can be kind of spicy you're never really going to do that but uh, most of the time you know it's just conductor and otk fodder uh playing three extravagance the reason you're playing extravagance over prosperity is because like i said earlier you do want to otk uh now don't get me wrong there are times where you can actually otk with this deck through prosperity but it's just very rare and it's very convoluted um, so to be able to OTK as consistently as possible, but also want to, you also want to have as many cards in the hand as possible. So for that reason, extravagance, I think is really important. And the extra deck space, luckily in this deck, because it's not a combo based deck like scrap, you're not worried about banishing really anything from your extra deck. So that's the really nice thing about extravagance. So yeah, that's why we're going three part of extravagance. I just think it makes a lot more sense in this build. And then we're playing the one called by the grave as well as two cross out. Uh, you guys got to be playing the cross out just because again, it is a hand trap based format. And I think cross out is just really important. Um, you're playing all the good hand traps, so might as well play these. And yes, I know you guys might be thinking, oh, but if you just resolve Misk, then, you know, it doesn't matter what hand traps your opponents are playing. It's like, okay, well, if I go Fossil Dig, search Misk, and then go Droll, like, what is Misk going to do for me there? Droll doesn't do it. Like, it, Droll just kills it in that sense, right? So it's kind of one of those things where it's like cross out is really important for just so many different hand traps that really could affect this deck, right? So that's why I like playing the two cross out uh, and the cold mine, of course. And then lastly, uh, the one Harpy's Feather Duster. It is an OTK deck. There are chances you guys are going to see back row. Harpy is really good in those kind of like situations, right? So um, yeah, 
that's it for the spells really not too many spells again they're just power spells really they're not anything that you know that's not necessary it's all just cards that are either going to get you to your combos uh like your fossil dig your extrav your double evolution pill of course that's searchable harpy's feather also that breaks boards and then you have your protection in your called by and your cross out right so um that's it for the spells and the the monsters now we get into the hand traps here uh, i'm playing a lot of hand traps and again it's because you really want to be able to otk with this deck and uh these hand traps are just the best hand traps in the format so we're playing three ash three ogre three drool um one veiler and three imperm so the only reason i'm playing the one veiler is because uh it's a card that super heavy samurai is playing of course because they can't play any spells or traps so a lot of the hand traps that they're playing like this is one of them and then this deck can lose to veiler if you don't have misc so it's just another thing that it's like okay it's a cross out target if you need to be a cross out target but again if you open it like it's just a good card right so here you're playing 13 hand traps i believe and it's just the best hand traps in the format you're not playing nib in the main deck i don't think nib really makes sense in the main deck right now ogre is really really powerful droll is of course i think the best hand trap in the format so um yeah just the best hand traps that you guys can be playing and 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 that's that's really kind of it and these are all these hand traps by the way also like really hurt dino so the really cool thing about this is again with the cross out it's like you know if my opponent goes droll my opponent goes veiler my opponent goes ash imperm like all these hand traps are also really effective against dino and again that's where cross out comes in which is really nice so yeah that's why we're playing all these and then uh yeah also we're not playing nibiru because with misc uh by the time your opponent can nib you you'll have misc live so you're never really worried about nib so that's why we're not playing the one nib the one veiler i think just makes a lot more sense as if for the main deck it is a 40 card main deck uh let's get into the extra deck over here so we're playing two dolka and two logia um this is of course we're just playing twos because of extrav uh really it, this is only if you don't otk your opponent you break their board you do a ton of damage and then you end on this it's kind of hard for your opponent to recover uh one dugars dugars is really good helps you otk as well one x ton knight this could definitely be two dugars if you want it to be i just like the two different options so that's why you can go x ton and dugars x ton is really good for clearing fields which is really nice but uh definitely dugars does help you otk so i'm just gonna give you guys that option you guys can definitely play two dugars here just for extrav uh i just wanted to show you guys two different cards that are really really powerful and then of course two zeus not only for the kashtara matchup i know people like to play two zeus for kashtara but also because you're playing extrav again it's one of those things where if you're not otking your opponent you can end on a zeus which is really nice and again the really nice thing about this deck is you don't need your extra deck too much but one card that i really like in the extra deck is pentastag um with conductor this card just becomes insane of course it makes it so that you can book all your opponent's monsters and if you're booking like four monsters and doing piercing damage like that's insane i know conductor has the effect to burn your opponent for a thousand but sometimes this is just way better right especially with dugaris like if you have dugaris with this and conductor under it like that's just insane damage right so again just another otk button for you which is really nice uh one link rebo one secure guard now um the thing with this deck is you're playing so many hand traps that are not dinos where you're not really worried about never having fodder for pill like you're always gonna have fodder for pill just because of all the hand traps but just in case you end up randomly not having any fodder for pill um this gives you fodder so that's why i still like that package um and again this the nice thing about this package over here is it's one of those things that if you guys really feel like you don't need it per se then these two cards can be more copies of dugaris more copies of exiton just for extravagance right but i still like playing it just in those weird situations where you don't open hand traps or the only hand trap you open is imperm and of course you can't use imperm for pill right so that's why we're playing these two still um and then these are just utility cards phoenix unicorn and access code these cards are all really powerful phoenix is just for more back row hate uh you can definitely play ip masquerina here as well but again you're not really trying to play cards like ip and stuff where it's uh you're playing to you know for it to come back to your turn and all that kind of stuff you really want to otk so phoenix getting rid of a back row is really nice then you can go into unicorn to shuffle something back then you can go into access code just to push for a lot of damage so it's just one of those things where it's just another otk package and again they're all that one because if you banish an all extravagance it is what it is you'd rather banish those kind of cards anyways because they're not your main way to otk just another option for you guys to otk which is really important right just giving you guys different options different you guys di giving you guys different ways to otk which is really nice with this deck but that's it for the main and the extra let's show you guys a quick side deck over here i think something that you guys can play again side decks are always going to be skeletons but i like showing you guys a little bit of a side deck just so you guys have more options just so if you guys are going to locals you kind of know what to put in so i'm playing the two dogran and the one gamma seal the reason for that is because uh, again it's one of those things where kaiju is really good into this format into purely into into super heavy into all these decks into a rise heart kind of thing uh these cards are also really good so these are of course searchable so you're playing the the dogran in, in the main deck and the two more in the side but i like the gamma seal as well just having another name which is really nice also a non-dino so that could be used for pill as well playing the um bestials here and i think these cards are still really powerful so the two magna and the one Druis. these cards are really good into math mech they're really good into random things in general and the really nice thing is it 
puts bodies on your side of the field. And again, as an OTK deck, something that can put bodies on your side of the field and, um, you know, Druid Swarm being linked off means that you can send another card. Being able to summon these, like a Magna makes you can search. You just get like deck thin a lot, which would be nice. So it's really good into Math Mech and Math Mech is, it's a pretty tough matchup. I hate that matchup like so much. So that's why I like this. Uh, we're playing three Lightning Storm, mostly just for back row, but again, technically it's really good into front row as well. Depending if your opponent doesn't play around this, it could be really good, but uh, mostly just for back row. And then we're playing three Barrier and three Judgment when you're forced to go first. I just think these are the best cards when you are forced to go first against any deck. Like against Super Heavy, against um, Mana Dome, against uh, Branded, against Koshtara. Like all these cards are just really good going first. And if your opponent sees that you're playing a go second base deck, uh, they might make you go first. And because you're not playing the Scrap Engine, it's harder to combo with this deck. So that's why I like playing those go first trap cards that are just really good. So. That's it for the deck, main deck, side deck, extra deck. You guys got to see a little bit of everything. Again, for the side deck, I just want to say it's a skeleton. If you guys want to change it up based off your locals, let's say your locals have no math deck players, don't play the Bastille cards, right? So you kind of that kind of thing where it's, it's just I'm showing you guys what you guys can play as a skeleton. Um, but that's it for the video. Thank you guys all for watching. Thank you, Alpha, for uh, filming and um, being the best boy. Um, I appreciate you. Uh, we're almost at 10,000 subscribers. We're almost at 10,000 subscribers. Make sure to like and subscribe if you guys haven't already. Uh, that's Dino. Misk is going to come back to 3, hopefully. And with that, make sure to Dino. Peace.